We have well thought out opinions. We like dogs. We like drinking tea out of coffee mugs. We like drinking tea out of coffee mugs with our dogs. We like to read really smart books, and sometimes we do it sneakily. We do all those things because we set the bar high. We're the guys, the place where comedy and commentary meet like third cousins at a family reunion. Do you ever find that you're at a loss for words now? Don't know how to think, how to act, or how to conduct yourself in person or online? Have you been stripped of your very existence for something you did that was clearly wrong, or maybe you just crossed the line? I mean, sure, <laughs> it was acceptable back in 2016, but not anymore. Oh, don't compliment her. In fact, don't even look her in the eyes. They're hungry for your blood. The uh, boy's mother ended up finding it. Fucking Finding haters. it? What do you mean? It, it, the Snapchat goes away, right? How they? He probably saved it. You can screen record, take screenshots. You gotta know that that's gonna happen. It's not you, friend. It's them. The cancel culture is out to get you. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. If you've been canceled, then let us uncancel you. No. I'm not an attorney, but I sure can act like one. <laughs> I'm a cancel culture counselor, and I can help ease you, or in some cases, force you right back into society. Thank you, thank you very much. Look, we all know what you did may have been wrong, but is the swift justice of being shunned by society for your ilks that serious? I mean, that little girl should have never been selling lemonade without a permit, and she knew that. Here's some testimony from our clients. So give us a call. We're the Cancel Culture Counselors. Let us uncancel you. Hi, I'm Laura Canty Samuels, and I'm your host. Welcome to the Goss. When it comes to news and culture, oh yeah, we have an opinion. Laura, is everything okay? I'm good. Okay, you want to pick it back up? You left off at, oh yeah, we have an opinion. I know what I said. But I don't want to say what I was going to say because I don't want to get canceled. Okay. I like my job and I don't want to make anybody mad. The court of public opinion hands out tougher indictments than the Louisville Grand Jury. Each week, the Goss team will touch on an important news-related topic and give you just enough information that you have the winning edge in your next epic roast battle. If you've got the time, we've got the Goss. So, bet. The cultural phenomenon known as canceling was once relegated for use only for ratings challenged yet critically acclaimed TV shows. I think canceling the get down was a mistake. Watching Jaden Smith run around in that fake ass afro wig was entertaining as a hell. That shape shift and afro deserved to have its own spinoff. Um, excuse me one second, I'm being shown a message telling me that Jaden Smith is a genderqueer and LGBTQ plus fashion icon and that I should shut my stupid mouth before I get canceled. Okay, full transparency, that message was from my own mom who is not traditionally of the Jaden Smith fan demographic, but she really likes the fact that he gave her the confidence to wear hot pinks in the fall. Listen, some people need to be canceled. Harvey Weinstein, no brainer. Kevin Spacey, canceled. R. Kelly, some of y'all are still riding with Robert. Now stop it. Pull the car over and take the key out of the damn ignition. I'm getting another message. Okay, I'm being asked. If I cancel R. Kelly, how am I supposed to step in the name of love at weddings when this pandemic is done? Okay, that's easy. Be a big girl, back it up, get in there and wobble with it, mom. Here's my guys on the cancel culture. Number one, Michael Jackson, pre-off the wall, is not canceled. When he was a child, he himself was being abused. Canceling, I'll be there. ABC or Ben is just re-victimization. Number two, all of Thriller is a bop. If Beat It comes on while you're in line at the pharmacy, you're allowed to put your shoulders into it. And number three, even post-dangerous, there's a year of wiggle room. But after that, it's horrible what he did. Canceled. We like the cancel culture because it makes us feel invincible against a common enemy. The cancel culture is like a club. 
the not to be confused with the Culture Club featuring Boy George, who has been canceled by people who say he is transphobic. I mean, what the fuck, Boy George? Number five, cancel culture has become a slippery slope. We now cancel people for doing things that we used to just hate on them for. Like, how dare that bitch use the same music on her TikTok that I use in my TikTok? If we cancel people for minor infractions, we are not going to have anybody left. To recap, I liked Michael Jackson's earlier music. I didn't watch Leaving Neverland because my mind barely survived surviving R. Kelly. And while it feels good to bond together over a common perceived wrong, there are levels to this. And maybe we should be a little more selective about who we cancel. Sometimes cashiers and show hosts Make mistakes, mom. Now, on to our chief correspondent, Tavar Snipe. Thanks, Laura. I am live outside the 2020 Cancelly Awards where I just received the surprise of a lifetime. I just got my very first Cancelly. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Oh, man. Wait till you see my acceptance speech. Live from New Jersey? It's the 2020 Cancely Awards, the award show that awards you for savage cancels. With your host, Pavar Snipe. Starring Pavar Snipe. And a special honor for Pavar Snipe. hear from Jet Copeland. You know what they say, if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And just like those freaky little crisscross braids, quite a few not so nice things are making a comeback in 2020. A survey found that 63% of young people lack basic knowledge about the Holocaust. And with all the anti-immigrant, anti-Jewish, and anti-Black crimes on the rise, and millennials totally in the dark, I decided to educate young people the only way they know how. Hey, through so TikTok, back, baby! I, I'm a savage. Yeah. And then I realized I can't really dance that good. So instead, I'm going to be going back in history to cancel people throughout time. Yeah. First off, this guy. Now sure, there were plenty of people that wanted to cancel Hitler back in his day, but somehow Hitler and his nationalist policies and opinions keep making a comeback here in America. He's like the Planet Fitness gym membership that you thought you got rid of six months ago, but somehow keeps popping up on your billing statement. You know what? I don't want you white supremacy and nationalism, and I was never going to get abs. So Hitler, mm, you canceled. And what's up with his racist German shepherds? Somebody should have canceled these thugs before they showed up on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. I ain't forget Hitler's racist dogs. Mm, double canceled. Next up, Christopher Columbus. And yes, there are plenty of people that want to cancel him today, but we're going to go ahead and make it all the way official, just like no white pants after Labor Day, except it's no raping and pillaging ever, okay? This guy is such a vehement racist, America couldn't wait to give him a holiday. Also, everything named after him is trash. Columbus Circle, lame. 
Columbus Day Parade, lame. Columbus, Georgia, meh. So Columbus, you're officially canceled. Now the obvious cancel here is Judas. Judas stabbed Jesus so hard in the back, you'd have thought he was a real housewife. Ooh, RIP. But the real cancel in this photo is everybody else you see over there. How you just sit around and watch somebody plot to kill your mans? Jesus was the best homeboy ever. It's always happy hour. Water in the wine. Turn down for what? So we're canceling all Jesus's fake friends. Canceled. But also, Jesus, you ain't see that come in. Next up, they say hole. Albert from the color purple. How do you get mad at your wife for wanting to wear pants? Pants? He made me so mad, I still haven't watched Lethal Weapon. You know what? Till you do right by me, you cancel. Mm. Next up, this guy. Now I'm all about adding POC characters to cartoons, but he literally chased a bunch of little girls around all day. Like, do you not have a job? Mojo Jojo, Mojo no no, you cancel. Next up, this one. You know what you did. You, you. What? Segments done. Jack Copeland canceled. No! And here with her thoughts on cancel culture is our chief white people correspondent, Maya Kagan. Thanks, Laura. Cancel culture is my jam. It satisfies my inner white lady desire to want to speak to a manager when there's something I don't like. I've got a whole long list of things that I want to cancel. And number one on my list is a giant bully. Wind. Wind? Yeah, wind is the fucking worst. It's like a mean kid on the playground. He pushes you around, messes up your hair, and won't leave you alone. I want to cancel wind. I don't think you can do that. I also want to cancel fall. Why are people so obsessed with fall? It's the dumbest season. Everything dies. Maya, is your entire list just weather? No, 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 no. I also want to abolish ice. Now you are talking. We definitely need to get rid of immigration and customs enforcement. I mean frozen water. What do you have against ice cubes? I'm against all forms of ice, but especially ice cubes. They're way too cold, and they take up too much space in my iced coffee. I'm not paying $5.75 for a glass of water chunks with a little cold brew splashed over them. I'm paying for the coffee. Put that shit in the fridge so it's lightly chilled and serve it to me without all the fucking ice. You know, Maya, they do call it iced coffee. Oh, sure, Laura, just blame the victim. All right, Maya, that's enough. Maya, are you about to say what I think you're going to say? I don't want be careful. to speak. Stop right there. To a manager. Okay, you're canceled. Now, we'll hear from Dominique Nisperos. The Me Too movement. It's the reason we can't enjoy television shows starring men made before right now. I mean, aren't you sick of getting really into a show only to have it ruined because some dude couldn't put away his pee-pee? Yeah, I still can't watch Glee. That's why I'm here to tell you about the movement we've all been waiting for. The pre to movement. The what now? The pre to movement, wherein we put people on blast who you know are damn well going to be canceled. How does that work? We use a complex algorithm to calculate a person's probability of being canceled over time. Here, I'll show you. Give me a name. Uh, Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt? Beep boop beep pop beep. Creep. Canceled. Hashtag pre two. Dom, that just mouth sounds. No, Laura, this guy's got all the hallmarks of a creep. He's white. He used to be a five, and then he glowed way the fuck up. And he's also a closeted conservative Christian. Plus, look at these chinos! Ew, they scream potential predator. And two Chris Pratt. Oh, Pratt, Pine, Evans, Catan. Catan too? Oh, especially Catan. He's short, 
He got his fame in the 90s, and just look at that haircut. What? What? Who? I mean, two members of BTS are sketch. Which two? 20 out of the 21 pilots, and don't even get me started on Chloe X. Haley. Wait, what? The great thing about the algorithm is it doesn't just work on celebrities. Here, take my coworker, Ben. Okay. He looks normal. Mm, but here, look at his email signature. That sounds nice. Unto? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Any use of the phrase unto in the 21st century means that you might just be an administrative assistant right now, but get even just a modicum of power and you're going to be running the cult out of your dimmest part two bedroom. Mm. Hashtag pre two. Plus, look at those chinos! Damn, is everyone going to be canceled? If I were going to take my bets on who would be canceled, it would be men, all of them. 65% of white women born before 1990, any man of color who can't spell intersectionality. But this is important, not Keanu. Never Keanu. Okay, Dominique, you may have a point. But let me ask you this. If you can tell who's going to be canceled, is there anything that you can tell me about the cast? Who is going to be canceled? Who on the show would be canceled? Let me check. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. I have to say, it's gonna be me! I love Chinos! And now, to our foreign correspondent, Shem Pennant. Oh, hi, sorry, I, I don't have a segment prepared for this week. I'm busy being the creator of The Cosby Show. Wait, I, I know you might be thinking, wasn't someone else the creator of The Cosby Show? Mm -mm -mm. If you get cancelled, your body of work is up for grabs. Black <laughs> people can't fuck with time travel. That's a joke that I now own. Sorry, Louis. Hello, respeto, prego. I was responsible for season two of Master of None. Except for being in Italy, I guess no one liked that. What? You don't think I should grab things that don't belong to me? Really, Aziz? Is that the argument you want to make? Do you hear the words coming out of my mouth? I'm just quoting Chris Tucker. He's done nothing wrong. World-famous transphobe J.K. Rowling's entire Harry Potter franchise is up for grabs, but you can keep them. It reinforces the class system. We missed the ignition, it's my song and I wrote it. This is how the song goes now, it's my song and I own it. Mama rolling that body, I like that bit and I didn't want to change it. Bounce, 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 bounce. I mean, okay, I guess you could technically take me to a court of law, but is that where you really want to be? Sorry, I just got emailed a cease and desist. Apparently the American legal system values intellectual property over human life. Fuck. I guess it's going to be busy trying to trademark not being sexually assaulted. Until then, God bless America. And that was The Goss. And my name is Laura Cancy Samuel. Don't forget, like, subscribe, follow. See you here next week at 10 p.m. here on The Litverse.